What we see in policing here in Australia is only a very small part of a much broader spectrum of policing. And the capabilities that we have is part of that broader spectrum. We have the gendarmerie in France, we have policing in the Ukraine and any other number of countries where they do policing differently and they do it because of their socio, cultural and religious contexts, but also in terms of the environment they're operating in. A more violent environment, as an example, would require a stronger response from the police, but always with the assumption that as the security environment becomes more permissive, then the police can also transition to the more traditional policing element. Training is incredibly important, you know, modelling the appropriate behaviour. So it's not do as I say, it's do as I do, and that's incredibly important. And that then reinforces what we're starting to deliver in terms of the training, which is what we've agreed with the host country police force. In terms of the policing capability, to, to use that term, we do have the ability to provide police services, and I use that in its broadest sense, across that entire spectrum. So we were building houses, we were changing an entire piece of legislation, we were reorganising the Solomon Islands Police just so that it was as effective and efficient as it could be. And then I guess if we look at uh, what we bring is, we look even within some of the more settled policing environments where they're policing in a peaceful and well-governed environment, you'll see that the police are very often doing more than just enforcing the law, which was our traditional role. So responding to disasters. So I guess that uh, the, the flexibility of the police to adapt to whatever it is that the uh, host nation requires, whatever support the host uh, police force requires, but also more broadly. We can support uh, the justice sector. We can certainly provide support to corrections. And that's the, um, the, the triumvirate, if you like, of the criminal element of the rule of law. Now, the rule of law is obviously much broader. We need a civil context because companies that are coming in to help develop the country need certainty in terms of enforcing contracts and those sorts of things. But the, the adaptability and the flexibility of what I think the police can offer is quite significant.